Jake, it's after midnight. This had better be about a murder. No, I wish. Look, I'm really sorry, but I have to talk to Captain Holt. Raymond, your work life is here. Please, come in, take off your shoes. Neither of us want that. Wow. Wow. Ah, welcome. Captain. 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 Raymond! Those slacks are a knockout. Come on, Amy. I trust you found my home easy to locate, and thank you all for wearing appropriate footwear. Wow, you really let your hair down when you're not at the office. Ah, oh, detectives, meet my husband, Kevin. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Evening. So glad you could make it. Ah, oh, and look, he brought us some wine. Drink. This is legally called wine drink. How very thoughtful, thank you. It's red, like blood. You know, I worked a double homicide on this block a couple of years ago. The details will astound you. Yes, I'm sorry. Perhaps Raymond didn't say anything. Our home has a no shop talk policy. I don't bring home Beowulf, and he doesn't bring home cop stories. Oh. So, may I pour you some of this wine? Drink. You brought us, perhaps, all of it? All of it sounds good. This might just be the fever talking, but this unedited footage of an Italian restaurant from eight years ago might be the best movie I've ever seen. Also, how weird are forks? Forks are very weird. I've always thought so. Yeah, yeah. Did we take too much cold medicine? Not by a long shot. Balthazar is a thirsty bitch. Ah, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Wait, look. Hmm. Gargamargo. Oh, turkey. Can't talk. Need more medicine. Garibaldi. He's eating snakes. No, it's spaghetti. Uh, so it's spaghetti. I'm just saying, if that's spaghetti, it looks like snakes. Marcus, you leaving? Come, have breakfast with us. Yeah, Bradley. Okay. And Detective Diaz is here as well. Hey. Hello, Kevin. Rosa. Marcus. Kevin, Uncle Ray. Marcus. And Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Uh, would you care to join us? Sure. Shall we sit? I don't think sit. Good. Then feel no obligation to stay, Rosa. Detective Diaz. Detective Rosa Diaz is in my breakfast nook. So, who would like French toast? I can put a bacon smile on it. My being here is weird. This was a bad idea. We shouldn't see each other again. Wow, oh, Detective Rosa Diaz has left. Hmm. The Oolong Slayer last struck five years ago. He left behind no DNA or fingerprints, but he did leave his calling card, a tea bag, in his victim's mouth. Yeah, how cool. I mean, awful is that. Very cool. I mean, awful. What's our strategy? One, re-examine all of the task force's files. Two, check all B&Es against the Slayer's M.O. And three, think of something super cool to say when we arrest him. My leading contender, you're going to jail for oolong time. Dick, that's really good. Right? Let's not overlook the fact that he turned his crime scenes into tea parties for dollies. Which suggests pre-adolescent trauma leading to a pattern of criminality that probably began as a juvenile and taking an abnormal psych class. And everyone in it is obsessed with me. You look into the B&Es and I'll check out the juvie angle. Now, before we begin in earnest, I'd like to propose a toast. <gasps> That's what globes are for. A 25-year-old port seems appropriate. I would have gone 10. I don't know what port is. To catching a serial killer. To catching a serial killer. To Rihanna because I love Rihanna. Marcus, Detective Diaz, what a surprise. I didn't expect you for another nine and a half minutes. See, told you it was rude to be early. Well, let's cancel the entire evening and try again next year. <laughs> she is hilarious. Thought you might need some help setting up. Oh, help with this and some water, thank you. Marcus, you can help with the buff bourguignon. I sub shallots for onions in the mirepoix. No, are you kidding? I have no idea. I'm sorry, we're screwed. I should just break up with him. No, 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 no. Santiago is always on time. We only have to make small talk for... Eight minutes and 45 seconds. We better keep it impersonal. Acceptable topics include what constitutes a grain, the Hubble Space Telescope, orchid varietals, the birth of the transistor. We only have to fill eight minutes. Sure, but think about it as 480 seconds, and you'll see why I'm concerned. Oh, my god. Amy! Oh, this is a cashmere sweater! 
<gasps> oh, my stupid allergies. He got into Kevin's closet. He was supposed to stay downstairs. The binder was very clear about that. Why won't you respect the binder? Oh, no. He's turning all the turtlenecks into regular necks. Charles, you got to help us. <sighs> On it. OK, the key with dogs is establishing the alpha. Cheddar, drop it. Please, drop it. I'll give you anything you want. Oh, Cheddar is the alpha. Didn't expect that. Please, please, please. <sighs> nice job, Boyle. It worked. But the mess, Jake. The mess. Don't worry. We're going to clean it up. Everything is totally under control. Charles, his pants are on fire. What? Boy, off the space heater! Get away from the space heater! I don't know where it is! I'm just going to run at full speed! No! <laughs> Charles, <laughs> stay where you are! I got it! Right. Oh. OK. It's OK. Everything's fine. Fire's out. And this table is... <laughs> fragile. I was going to say fragile. Nailed it. Gina, I know you like champagne with a drop of pomegranate juice. I like to say it's nature's classiest alcohol mixed with its nastiest fruit. <laughs> and Peralta, I hope this will do. It's a can of orange soda from when some other children visited. It's perfect. Thank you for inviting us in. Yes, I invited Gina in. You were with her. OK, look, everyone's blaming me for the captain's horrible mood because of a small thing that happened Wednesday morning. When you flooded his office with cider? Well, the water actually flooded it. The cider just caused it. But I swear, he was already upset when he got to work. He was anger articulating. Coat, coat, jacket, coat. Is this a police precinct or a Turkish bazaar? Mm, yes, I dread those enunciated denunciations. Yeah, I hate those denunciations. But so my question is, could something have happened at home before he left for work? Well, I remember that morning. He left this house at 7 and was in a great mood. In fact, he was still chuckling about the previous night's Charlie Rose. Fine, so your marriage might not be the problem. But he didn't get to work until 10. That means whatever ruined his mood happened in those three hours. We have to retrace his steps. We? I'm not going to investigate my own husband. Uh-huh, totally. Well, that was a great chit-chat, don't you think, Gina? Seemed like it went real bad for you. Chit-chat? Oh. Uh... You know, Kevin, maybe if we figure out what caused Raymond's bad mood, we could fix it. Great idea, Gina. I suppose we could look into it. Yes, great. Let's go right now. No time to lose. Don't look, just run. You're trying to get me out of here before I see the orange soda you spilled on that chair, aren't you? I'm already out the door. It worked. Thanks for inviting me over for dinner. Boy, that's hung in a real prominent place, isn't it? Not for long. Actually, Ray and I met over the phone. Oh, they have all heard the story. No, we haven't, and we need to. Well, Ray was a source for an article I was writing for The New Yorker. I asked him a series of dry questions about police work, and his answers had me in stitches. There's no one funnier than Ray Holt. Amen. Isn't? We met for a drink that night, and we've been together ever since. Yeah. So, Kevin, I hear you're a professor at Columbia? That's right, yes. I head the classics department. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Classics. Zeppelin, Hendrix, Die Hard. Total classics head over here. I'm joking, mm -hmm. obviously. I know what the classics are. The Odyssey and the one you said when we got here, the Wolf one. Oh, hey, uh, Captain Holt, do you have the Wi-Fi network? I need to FaceTime with Hitchcock. Oh, there's no internet at the lake house. Then I'm alone. We're all here. So you'll do the 64-round tournament Hitchcock and I designed to determine the best flavor of potato chip? No, that sounds like hell. Now let me give you all a tour. This is the sitting room. We considered referring to it as a living room, but decided against it. Fascinating. This is the TV room, or it was until we got rid of the TV. Now it is also a sitting room. Two sitting rooms? Now this, this is why we bought the place. The master sitting room. Oh, wow, look at all this seating. Jay, can I talk to you for a second? What's going on? There is no way you are this enthusiastic about too many sitting rooms and lake houses that aren't lake houses. I'm just trying to be there for Captain Holt. I understand that the weekend's not about me. Nope, you're up to something. I'm up to nothing, Terrence, and frankly, I resent the implication. Hello? Okay, I'm up to something, Terrence. Hello? I messed with Holt and Kevin's shared calendar. You know me so well. Oh, Kevin, what a surprise. Why are you all in my house? Raymond? Kevin, what are you doing here? <laughs> what is going on, Peralta? This has been a long day. Well, IAB caught me returning some classified files, and I am now the prime suspect in the mole investigation, and Miller said I would be suspended in the morning. But more importantly, what does the J stand for? James? John? Jojo? My middle name is more important to you than being suspended. If it's Jojo, yes. Look. I came here because we have to figure this thing out. 
And Miller is sure there's a mole in the precinct, and the only way to prove it's not me is to figure out who it is. You said there was no mole. You said you knew everything about these people. Well, it turns out I don't. I've learned some truly horrible things tonight. You were right, and I was wrong. Goodness. Boyle is sleeping with Gina? What? How could you possibly know that? You were right, and I was wrong. You must have been shaken to your core to say that to me. Boyle is your most trusted friend, so he has to be involved. Your use of the word horrible leads me to believe that the matter was sexual in nature, given your obvious immaturity. I've had sex. And, of course, you would be most upset if Boyle were to have slept with someone you knew from your childhood, thus the solve, Gina and Charles. That was amazing. April 13th, May 2nd. Come on. Why doesn't my life always work out perfectly? Uh, just a second. I'm halfway done. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway done with what's happening in here. Okay. Are you supposed to be babysitting Gina? Doesn't need my help. She's over there dazzling some psychologists. All men are at least 30% attracted to me. My mother cried the day I was born because she knew she would never be better than me. At any given moment, I'm thinking about one thing. Richard Dreyfus hunkered over, eating dog food. I feel like I'm the Paris of people. Complete overlap of ego and id. It's been theorized, but I never thought I'd see it. I'm exquisite. <laughs> Amy says that we should start dinner without her. Then she writes whatevs, colon, hyphen, close parenthesis. Great. It's much nicer than just the four of us. I mean, we can really get into it. Yeah, let's do just that. Um, so, Marcus, what uh, orchids can you name? Oh, that's easy. None. Uh, well, here are the orchids that I can name. Baclardia, Bellagladis, Benthamia, Diphylax, Dipodium, Evotella. Uh, Raymond, uh, you know how much I love hearing you talk about orchids. Great. Then there's Arianxis. Uh, but I would love to hear more about our guest. Rosa, tell us about your family. I have one. Oh, you gotta give her more deets than that. Her father's a teacher. They're from Benton Earth. Speaking of which, have they finished repairing the Hubble Space Telescope? Yes, six years ago. So, do you have siblings? I have... two sisters. I have to leave this. Ooh, great idea. Take a breather. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic. The moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. 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 No. Wait a minute. Why did you just go in the kitchen? Do we have eyes in the kitchen? There are eyes everywhere, man. Ow, ow, icky, icky, ow. Look, he slipped the chef a piece of paper. I bet it's the address of his hideout. The chef knows where the hideout is. His name is Richie Lignardi. We talk to him, we find Garibaldi. We have to go right now. Go where? <laughs> ah, what's on your face? Huh? Oh, right, uh, yes, my disgusting deformity. Um, here, majestic. Hey, what's up, girl? Better? It's not worse. Kevin, is the captain home? No. Good. I figured out what happened to him. He was mugged. What? He told you this? No. I used my detective skills as well as my spot-on Holt impression to figure it out. I retraced his steps and found security footage. After he left fencing, three shady guys followed him into an alley. One of them had a knife. That's why he's been in such a bad mood. He's a police captain that got mugged. He's embarrassed. Oh, my goodness. Peralta. There he is! What are you doing in my house? Raymond, you were mugged? What? What did you say to him? Captain, it's okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not embarrassed, and I wasn't mugged. Three men tried to mug me, but I fought them off, injuring two of them. <laughs> Wait, so you heroically fought off three guys, and that put you in a bad mood? If I did that, I would literally write a song about myself. It would be like, Jake the hero, abs of steel, sha-la-la-la. -la -la. Why would you keep this from me? And why would you lie about going to fencing? Because he couldn't go because he's injured. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry, you were stabbed? Lightly stabbed. I didn't want to frighten you. <sighs> you are my husband. I want you to tell me everything, especially things that might frighten me. How can you not know that? Raymond, you are unbelievable. Hey, Captain, you look so tall. What you have done is beyond unprofessional. 
You cannot muck around in people's private lives. Get out of my house. Uh, get into your car? I'll go. Kevin Costner preparing to descend the master staircase. Oh, I see you changed into your mock turtleneck. And you into your exercise shorts. I feel dirty. You feel dirty? I do. And I love it. All right, let's go through the squad one by one. Rosa is very secretive. I don't know anything about her personal life. Charles has expensive tastes. Gina has said many times that she would sell us all out for five minutes with Blake Griffin. Let's see. Terry wants to send his twins to private school, but on his salary, that's difficult. Mm. Plus, with twins, one of them's always evil. So, it's Cagney. Here is Kevin's laptop. Great. Dear Kevin, attach, please find a picture of my penis and silly Raymond Holt. Deleted. French class must have ended early. Hello, is someone upstairs? I need DVR. Tell me the captain's secrets. Unveil yourself to me. Ooh, how it's made. Contact lenses. Bingo. What are you doing here? I what? I'm not. What are you doing here? I need to find a New Yorker that Kevin left by the bed so I can justify this whole pro-slavery stance I've backed myself into. Detectives. Sarge. I see that you, like I, came up here to chastise Santiago. Amy, this is low, even for you. I cannot believe you would both violate the please stay downstairs rule, which was prominently posted. Get out of here. I don't know why we have to have this discussion again. What do we do? Bathroom. Bathroom. Why are you upset with me? Your employees are the ones putting a damper on the party. They are acting terribly. You're the one who's been acting terribly tonight. You've been curt and snobby with my guests. You've been needling poor Peralta so much you practically made him a new suit. Needled him a new suit. Even when we're fighting, you're hilarious. Stop it. Stop it. Oh no. Dog, allergies, sneezing. No, get away. Grab the dog. Look at me. Do not blow this for us. You know what? I knew this wasn't going to work. It never has. We should have just gone out for dinner to a restaurant like we do every year. Why did you make me invite them? I made you invite them because I like them. They're good people. <laughs> Santiago, are you hiding in my bathroom with a dog that you're deathly allergic to? No. Occupied? Ability doesn't kick in. Do I have to teach you college level statistics? I don't know. Do I have to teach you high school statistics? Do I have to teach you eighth grade statistics? Do I have to teach you seventh grade statistics? Do I have to teach you? We're here to crown the winner of this year's great tournament of chips. Rosa? The champion is Smoky Bacon Chicken. She's so high. Yeah. Sounds pretty good, though. Oh, you guys are duds. Scully and I are going to bounce. Oh, sir, that's a dribble cup. You're dripping on yourself. Am I? OK. Look, I'm really sorry. No need to apologize. Your Das Doppel Talachin scheme worked. You manufactured a perfect romantic moment. And I allowed myself to imagine, as Kevin held my hand, that he still felt something for me. When we came back, I walked into his room. And just as I was working up the courage to ask him to stay, he said, we shouldn't spend any more time together. Well, at least now, I know that my marriage is over. So. Uh, thank you, Peralta. Are your bosoms tender? I'm gonna pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses heightened? I think I might be pregnant, not bitten by a radioactive spider. <sighs> Kevin asked me about my sister. She just told me she's pregnant, and that made me think, I've been feeling run down lately. My stomach's been weird. I just did the math in my head, and I think I'm a little bit late. Late to, uh, oh, right, right, you're, um, what if I'm pregnant? Do I tell Marcus? What do I do with a baby? How do you take care of those things? Why are their heads so soft? Before you spiral anymore, you should take a pregnancy test. Yes, smart. Immediately. Oh, immediately. Immediately. Uh, very well. I'll figure out a way to get you out of here without arousing suspicion. Now I'm regretting blowing through my orchid material so quickly. What? He's just beautiful minding it. Because he's a genius. He's writing the word case over and over again. Oh, now he's spelling it with a K. Is that not how you spell it? Again, I have a mouth, neck, and testicle melting fever. Jake, hmm? enough is enough. Yeah. You need to drop this stupid back burner cold case before you both die, or I will kill you. 
Oh my god, I thought I was following her. Yeah, I should probably lie down. Here we go. Case! Wait a minute. One time, I saw Rosa eating watermelon, but then when I asked her about it, she said she'd never eaten that or any other kind of melon. Now that I say it out loud, it doesn't seem like much. No, put it on the board. <gasps> hey, check it out. Doug, bruh. Doug, bruh. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't keep my eyes open. Here, I need you to slap me. I'm not going to do that, bro. Oh! I thought perhaps the element of surprise would help. It did. What are you doing here, Peralta? I want to prove to you that you're wrong to think that Kevin doesn't have feelings for you anymore. OK, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, I want to prove to him that he was wrong for hedging all day. But that's our own separate thing, so you can ignore it. Sir, listen, I think Kevin wanted to stay. The only reason he left is because he didn't know how you felt. Why would you think that? He's made no effort whatsoever. Or has he? Did you know that Kevin is better at bird calls than you? Oh, strange, hurtful non sequitur. No, who made the first corn crate call? I believe I did. Correct! Kevin and I heard you and he responded. But get this, sir, you made the wrong call. This is what a rooting corn crake sounds like. The call that you made was for a scarlet warbler, a trash bird. OK, so you made your point. I'm a trash man who only knows trash birds. No, that is not my point. My point is, Kevin knew it wasn't a corn crake, but he went to it anyway. Because he was going to you, not the bird. He still loves you. Our plan worked. Our plan? Yeah. Terry is off the hedge and on the ledge. Well, that means a lot coming from you, Jeffords, given how much you hate ledges. People don't know about Terry hating ledges. This is new. Hey, I found popsicles. These should help cool us down. Uh, oh, thanks, Jake. You're welcome, Nards. Peralta, Balthazar has a sister. Meet Penelope. Who? Yeah, mumps on mumps. Let's not dwell on it. We should get back to work. Or we could fall asleep for five to seven days and see how we feel. I will not rest till justice is served. There's no time to waste. This case is urgent. Oh, boy. All right, listen. The case may not be quite as urgent as once thought. Um, I dug it up out of my desk so you'd have something to do on weekends because you seem so lonely. You cited chatter from the streets that Garibaldi had resurfaced. I did, I did, I did. But said chatter may have been fudged. So you lied to me. Out of pity, you pitied me. I wouldn't put it that way. I would. I am offended. I am angry. I am very tired. So I'm going to take a nap. But when I wake up, oh, you are in for it. How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? I was just trying to help. Wow, your help feels an awful lot like pity. So do me a favor and don't ever help me again. Wow, well, you didn't seem to mind me helping you when I got you your job back at the 9-9. I didn't ask you to do that. <gasps> you said we were out of peas, you pee hog. You're the pee hog. You're the pee hog. No, you. You take you. back. <laughs> ah! Double poke. Ah! Yeah! 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 Yeah!